Welcome back to the Roblox Studio Brookhaven series tutorial and this is part 7 where I'm going to be showing you how to make a viable motel or you can do a house, I'm just going to do a motel because that's what's going to be my thing. I'm also going to be making houses in the future but this is just going to be a quick motel, a little house here. So, first thing you want to do is go into your motel and you want to add in two parts. One called inside which is going to be a part inside the door so no, not inside the door inside the motel and one outside so this is going to be once you buy the house and you walk into it you're going to get re teleported to this position make sure this is uncan collide anchored and transparency is one ideally and then when you leave you're going to be teleported to this one I would do it quite far away to the far away quite far away from the door so that it doesn't glitch and stuff. Okay, so yeah, and once you've done that, you then want to add in a string value and you want to call this current owner. So this is just going to be, so the value will be the current owner, but just, I would just leave it blank for now. And then you want to add an int value which is going to be the price of the house, so you want to name that price and I'm just going to do a thousand, a thousand pounds because it could be quite a nice hotel no, quite, some, quite a nice motel, which I know is pretty cheap but we're just going to test with that okay, now we now have a door and if you want to duplicate this door and, right, let me just um, make this fit in here, there we go so there's now door 1 and this can be just door 2 so there's door and door 2 you can call it door 1 and door 2, I'm just going to call it because it's the main door so it'd be door and door 2 ok, then what you want to do is inside of the first door you want to add in a click detector and a script called by script and inside the script you want to type local house price equals script dot parent dot parent then wait for child just so it all loads and there's no there's no glitching and then local current owner equal script dot parent dot parent wait for child current owner then we're going to drop two lines and then we want to do script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click connect function player and then if player find first child leader sat so this this is if the player has leader stats if for whatever reason they don't have it and then and player dot name isn't this is, isn't equal to current owner dot value so if they if they don't own it pretty much because otherwise they're gonna have to buy it twice which is not good we don't want that and the current owner dot value equals to nothing so like so no one nobody own, currently owns it so don't. you always want to have a, do like a double equal sign in with if statements I think that's with every single code language okay and then if player dot leader stats now this is where it gets personal once again it's I've named it money again if you want to check go into service script service leader stats and whatever you call this. I'm not, I've actually changed this to 1500 so I can test it in the future. I would set it to quite a high number until you upload it. So yeah, whatever you call this, money, I've called it money. So and then dot value is bigger. So it's bigger. Or equal to the house price. Dot value then and only then script dot parent dot name equals 
player dot name so that this is so the house will be will equal no but the house will be called that also oh, the motel even will be called that so if I buy it it will be Toyota Tenno Boys house so not motel even and then player dot leader stat again I'm gonna do money dot value equals player dot leader stat dot money dot value minus house price and script dot parent dot parent dot current owner dot value equals player dot name okay so that will be that's that's the buy script there okay you then want to go back to the motel to the, the store and you want to add another script this one's going to be the entry script so that you can actually enter your house once you've bought it and it will stop other people getting to your house who haven't bought it so the first thing we're going to do is local outside script.parent.parent.outside which is the obviously what, whatever you've called this this is the outside where it teleports outside and this is the inside teleports inside you don't have to do this there's, an, there's another way of doing it so I'll, I'll show you in a minute just okay, local inside script.parent.parent.inside and now current, sorry, 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 local current owner equals script dot parent dot parent, so wait for child current owner and local teleport position equals, yep, no, yeah, so it's equals C frame dot new, now this is where it comes into play. Inside dot position so you could just put in the position of the inside but I would do it like this so then if you move this house or this motel wherever it will still be otherwise you have to keep changing the thing if you're happy with where it is you don't have to put this but I'm gonna do it because it's easy you don't have to change this that that position will always be that position even if you move them so yeah that, that's why I've done that Okay, and then you want to do, oh, you want to do script dot parent dot touch connect function hit, and then if hit dot parent find first child humanoid. Then if again okay, if hit dot parent dot name equals equals current owner dot value then hit dot parent dot humanoid root path dot c frame equals teleport position there we go and then we're going to add another script pretty much the exact same script into door number two so you can actually leave your house but except this one we are going to do outside dot position and i think that's the only thing we have to change it to which is which is pretty nice. Okay, so you sort if you then want to want to get rid of those scripts. And now we're going to be moving on to selling the house. So first thing you want to do is close the, all this, go into recreate storage and add a remote event. If you want to know what these other things are, it's just from other it's just from previous tutorials. Okay, we're just going to if you want to see them and learn how I made all of this then watch my previous um, Brookhaven series tutorials they'll be in the description in the playlist so anyway, sell motel so that is the remote event and then you want to go to start GUI add a screen GUI 
and we'll just name this Motel Menu. And it's like instead of adding a frame and stuff, we're just going to add a text button, and we'll make it to no, we'll make this. No, sorry, um, one, no, we'll just do, actually no, 50 is fine, 50 is fine, we'll just, and then we'll just have to, we'll, we'll make an anchor point, and then we will do 0 0.85, and again 0 0.85, just so it's there, and then we'll just increase this, and we'll call this, and we'll just do here, cell motel, there we go. And we'll just change this to cartoon because that looks quite nice. I'm also going to change this to black because I just realised the other day that it's actually not black. The like the border colour isn't usually black. So I never really noticed. Okay. And then inside this, we want to add a local script. Where we're going to write script dot parent quite simply. Um, mouse button on click connect function it's not gonna be a long script just a game dot website storage dot cell motel fire and then fire server that's what we want to write and then we we need to have a script inside here so we know what happens when the the event or when the server has been fired, the event has been fired. Okay, so we're just going to name this cell motel, and and this is this is the, the last bit you want to do. So game okay, storage dot cell motel dot on server event connect function player and and player and then local money equals player dot lead stats. This is just instead of writing all of this out money again whatever you called your money if game the workspace find first child or oh, a player without the brackets no without the to be transform so name dot dot motel like that plus vs motel and then let's put a bend there money dot value equals money dot value plus game dot workspace player dot name post vs later there we go and then dot price dot value now, I'm going to do a divided by 2 here so you don't get all the money back. You don't have to. You can even. You don't actually have to give them the money back. I personally would, but you know. Okay, then game. Dot workspace. Player. Dot name. Apostrophe S. Motel. Dot current. Owner. Dot value equals nothing. So once you've sold it, there is no value. And then game dot workspace player dot name apostrophe s no oh wait. That was apostrophe s motel dot name equals motel one. So once you've sold it it doesn't equal to Twitter's high boys motel or anyone else's it equals to just motel one which is what we have it called here and the reason it's motel one because I will then duplicate it and so on okay so we're now going to give this a test As you can see, we have spawned in my lovely little grassy area here. 
It's just a quick, this is just like a cylinder flattened with glass. Okay. Now if we press sell motel here, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Nothing's going to work because I don't actually own it. Now, we want to buy it. Oh. Where? Okay, we have an error. Which is, which is fine. We have to go to buy scripts and... Okay, it says this, workspace. Dot. Attempt to perform arithmetic sub on number and instance. Ah, okay. That's because here we need to player, so house price. This is just this just the price we then have to put dot value. And I think that's the only thing we have to do. We'll test it again. I do love to. Okay, so if we run over here now and try it, as you see, the money goes, and we can walk in. As you see, it's a bit glitchy, depends where you put the thing. Oh, wait, okay, this this is a problem. Oh, wait, actually, no, okay, again, it's, it's being a bit, because it depends on which way you face, if you face a certain way. But yeah, that does, that does work. If you run into it, there we go, <laughs> and run out of it. Okay, and then if you want to sell, sell it. There you go, you get some of your money back and you can't enter again. And you can go on your merry day and maybe you want to buy a car. If you actually do want to learn how to do that, there will be a video in the description. Or you can just steal this one illegally, which is fine, I promise. Okay, and then we'll just press stop. Okay, so that is part 7 on how to make Brookhaven. We are we're getting very close to the end. I still need to do like a massive map and obviously a few more of these. And, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.